Drama unfolds, Lisa Barlow accuses Whitney Rose of seeking relevance on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. In the ever-evolving saga of reality television, the drama on Bravo's Real Housewives of Salt Lake City continues to captivate audiences, especially with the ongoing feud between Lisa Barlow and Whitney Rose. In a recent appearance on Page Six Virtual Reality Podcast, Barlow, 49, didn't hold back her feelings about her co-star, suggesting that Rose, 37, constantly targets her to maintain her relevance on the show. Barlow articulated her thoughts candidly, stating, I think she does it to be relevant. I think she thinks, no one's paying attention to me. I don't have anything else going on. This assertion sheds light on the competitive nature that often characterizes reality TV, where cast members vie for screen time and viewer engagement. Barlow further escalated her claims by labeling Rose as the biggest liar, indicating a deep-seated frustration that has evidently built up over the seasons. Reflecting on their tumultuous history, Barlow recalled the numerous instances in which Rose has allegedly deceived her and the audience. Every single season, Barlow emphasized, we see her tell lies and then at the end, we see the truth. This ongoing cycle of mistrust has undoubtedly contributed to the chasm between the two women, divide that first seemed to crack wide open during season two of the series. Barlow recounted a particularly egregious incident, Whitney brought a guy to a party season two and told everyone I slept with him and I had no idea that happened until after. Such provocations have not only strained their relationship but have also catalyzed Barlow's resolve in confronting Rose about her behavior. During season five, she expressed her frustration, stating, you constantly lie about me. You make me have to tell the truth, and you don't like that. You want people to believe your lies. This poignant admission speaks to the intertwined nature of truth and deception in their dynamic, highlighting how the reality show format amplifies personal conflicts for the sake of entertainment. The tension reached a boiling point in the latest premiere, where the pair clashed over Rose's assertion that Barlow is the villain of their social circle. The heated exchange during a dinner scene was emblematic of their fraught relationship, with Rose maintaining her stance while Barlow retorted fiercely, I will be your villain, bitch. Game on. This declaration encapsulates the intensity of their rivalry, suggesting that Barlow is both unafraid of her role and willing to embrace the drama that comes with it. Despite the tumult, Barlow appeared to take a somewhat philosophical approach to their conflict. She expressed that everyone is entitled to their opinions but felt that Rose was attempting to undermine her character during her interview with Nick Vile. In a surprising turn of maturity, Barlow remarked, I hope she heals, indicating a willingness to rise above the chaos, even if only for her own peace of mind. As the season progresses, it remains to be seen how this rivalry will unfold and whether Barlow and Rose can find common ground or if their conflict will escalate into an even more dramatic spectacle. With The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City airing Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Bravo, fans are left on the edge of their seats eagerly anticipating what will happen next in this riveting reality saga. This ongoing battle serves as a reminder that in the world of reality television, the line between friendship and rivalry is often blurred, creating a captivating narrative that keeps viewers returning for more.